Hello everyone, welcome to a rundown of the Nuri rocket from South Korea. This is also known as KSLV-2. It is due to launch in a day on its third attempted launch. The first one was a dummy satellite that failed, that the launch failed. The second one did succeed with a 1.5 ton load and that was on June 21st, 2022. And this is the third launch. It is a much lighter load, 240 kilograms with Nexsat-2 as well as a bunch of other smaller satellites and it is currently scheduled for May 24th, 2023, but uh, who knows? Uh, of course, rocket launches can get delayed. Now, I had made a model of the rocket, but uh, I had some discrepancies uh, between my model and what they ultimately came up with, and that was because I was basing it on diagrams that were outdated, I guess, and so I have made modifications to my model, and that these changes will be part of the Real Rockets pack. The original mod was part of the Real, Real Rockets pack. If you like the original version, you can keep it. Uh, or you can, if you didn't get before, you can download an older version of the Real Rockets pack. Uh, this will be version 0.8.1. And any version before that will have the old version of this. And the differences are that the interstage. Uh, used to be straight and then there was a tapered section uh, attached to the second stage that was much shorter but it turns out that the entire inner stage is tapered like this so it has more of this look and I think the second stage and the third stage uh, had previously had slightly different diameters but now are the same diameter so it's just 2.6 meters in diameter and so that part's straight one discrepancy that still remains is the upper part here. I've gone with a 3 meter fairing instead of what they have right now, which is just a 2.6 meter fairing. In other words, what you'll see on the rocket is it's straight here and it stays that way, but I've retained my 3 meter fairing because it's more useful. So uh, if you don't like that, that might be a little bit of a problem because the third stage here uh, has that taper built in. Let me show you the parts just in case you want to put it together with the mod, but we will also discuss the details of the rocket as we put it together. So these are the parts. You can type in Nuri and get them. And let me just put it together. I'm going to route to our test tank here. Now the payload for the launch coming up is 240 kilograms, but I've set this test tank to the 1.5 tons that they launched on the first two launches because that's uh, that, that was the test launch amount and so we'll test launch it with that. This is currently the... I guess they are operational now, I'm not sure. Anyway, it has a payload adapter for it and then the third stage. This third stage has RCS thrusters. It's meant for sun synchronous orbits so it's possible that it might need to circularize the orbit or do some maneuvers to fine-tune the orbit because sun-synchronous orbits are touchy. As a result, uh, the, the upper stage engine, the KRE-007, has three ignitions possible. I don't know if that's correct or not. I'll have to double check. Um, finding out exactly how many ignitions is always interesting. It doesn't actually run on kerosene kerosene, or not RP-1 kerosene, it runs on Jet A-1, which is, in real fuels and all that, we just use kerosene in place of jet fuel. So, it's a slight difference. So, I've just kept it to kerosene, but technically it's Jet A-1. But, it's vacuum specific impulse is 325.1. The lower stage engines don't get quite uh, that much. Uh, the first stage engine gets 298.3, and then the second stage engine, which is more vacuum optimized, gets 315.4. Uh, not too bad, though. And so we have one of these here, and then we have the second to third stage inner stage, and then we have the second stage, and we'll get the flag on there. Uh, that might be stretched a little bit wrong there. But, and then we get the KRE-075V, and that needs to go on the upper node. Uh, so that's not right. There we go. And then we get the second to first stage adapter. 
And then we get the first stage. And then we get the lower stage engine, which is a cluster of four KRE-075s. So like that. And it's three stages to get to orbit. But again, it's sun-synchronous orbit, so it takes a little bit more delta V than your standard low Earth orbit. 3.3 tons, potentially, to low Earth orbit, and then 2.2 tons to sun-synchronous orbit. Oh, and we had the fairings. So we do have fairing pieces like this. Okay. And then I'll sort staging out. The second stage also has RCS thrusters, and that's to control roll. Otherwise, I didn't really see a good way of controlling roll. I think they control roll with the RCS thrusters. And yes, we have the first stage engine, the inner stage and RCS, and then the second stage engine, the fairings, inner stage, RCS, third stage engine, and then the payload adapter. All right, I have not tested this out in 1.12. So we are going to do that with the 1.5 ton load, and we'll see how it goes. I previously tested it in 1.8.1. And with realism overhaul these days, we do have the launch site at Naro, which is in South Korea, of course. And we will be launching southward, which is basically the only way they can launch. Um, it's tough. So that's why sun synchronous orbit specialty here. So we're going south. And I will just use the KOS script. So this will also be a way to test the KOS script to see that it works properly in this version. Nuri. Okay, we have a plume. And we're off. The burn time for the first stage is 2 minutes and 7 seconds, and then for the second stage, 2 minutes 28 seconds, and the third stage is um, 8 minutes and 18 seconds max. Of course, it may not use all that. So we're actually tilting this way, and we are well past the speed of sound, and at this point we're past max Q, I believe. The thrust of the first stage engines is the vacuum altogether is 2,942 kilonewtons. And then individually, well, the upper stage engine vacuum is 788. We don't really have an individual number for the first stage ones because they're a cluster. But we could just divide by four. The third stage engine is 68.7 kilonewtons. So approximately the same thrust as an early RL-10. Okay, we have separation. Okay, well, might need a little bit more separation force there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, I don't know how that worked in 1.8.1, but we might want some separatrons there or something. Here, the little RCS thrusters are trying to control roll. That's what they're up to. They'll just stop the residual roll. That's Japan in the background there, and there's South Korea there. And off go the fairings. Okay, third stage. Well, I think it's supposed to try to do it all in one go. Otherwise it wouldn't have gotten this high apoapsis. If it was two burns, I would have kept the script aimed low. So I think it was trying for one burn. We'll see if it can manage a one burn orbit here. It's trying hard. Not just a one burn orbit, but a one burn orbit that's high on both sides. I think it's gonna be lopsided. Well, I mean, not a bad start, but we'll still have to coast and circularize that. But alright, 
the mod works in 1.12. The trajectory you could do with a little bit more work is all. All right, I mean, not really circular, but you get the picture. They could get into the sun-synchronous orbit. Uh, if I knew exactly which sun-synchronous orbit they were trying to get into, and we could fine-tune with the hydrazine if necessary with the RCS. So yes, there you have it. The Nuri, ro Nuri rocket, also known as KSLV-2, uh, due to launch in within 24 hours, uh, you know, weather or other things permitting. And hopefully it'll go all right. So with that, I'll put the mod link in the video description, and I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.